Good morning, good morning. It's a great day to be alive, guys. Look at the results I'm getting here. This is the new chicken tractor. There are seven young chicks in there. And this is what they do. And I leave them here about every, for two days because there's only seven. They're young, they're small. And that's a four by six chicken tractor. But look at this. It used to look like that, guys. And now it looks like this. This is a huge success for me because not only are they eating the, the weeds that I would have to mow or weed whack, they are also eating ticks, chiggers, mosquitoes, everything they can catch they're eating. You got to see these chicks, guys. They have turned out absolutely amazing. Let me get this lid up. Look at that. Look how big they are. I just moved them this morning, and I would say win, win, win for the chicken tractor. You can see they're happy. They've definitely grown, and I forgot to bring their food over. I keep a food addition here at all times now, so if they run out of bugs and fresh greens, they have regular seed. They're getting wild bird seed black sunflower seeds, and scratch, chicken scratch. And you see we added a perch. They are using that. They have water here right by me in the corner. Look how pretty that one is. I do believe we have two roosters out of the seven. That's the only two that I've seen doing rooster type behavior. But it's early days yet. We'll probably know here in a few more weeks. And the roosters will get tagged somehow. And those are going to be butchered first. The one thing this homestead does not need, and my friend does not want, is roosters. So, roosters go to the stew pot first. But look how good they're doing. Those are some happy roots. Oh, no, happy roosters. Happy chicks. I still have all seven, guys. Big win for us here. Yay. <laughs> The chicken tractor is doing awesome. It's keeping them dry in torrential downpours. We're keeping it on high ground. That's low ground. This is high ground. So no puddles are forming underneath them. And it's a win-win situation here. Now in a few days, the area they're in, it looks kind of like this. In a few days, it's gonna look like that. I can't even tell you how easy this thing is. Super easy for me to pull. I don't even use a fraction of my strength. And guys, my strength is nothing compared to a healthy female of my age. And I'm just blown away by this. I am so excited to have this chicken tractor. Mr. Jim had his knee surgery yesterday. Guys, it was successful. He slept all night last night, pain-free. Awesome, because that has not happened in a long time. And he actually feels better when he's up and moving around on it. But he still has to be very careful. We have at least a week of being careful before the doctors release him to full activity again. But yay, things are changing here. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how happy I am. I'm doing uh, the majority of the chores, but what we did prior to his surgery was get everything big done that we needed to get done. So all I really have to do is feed the animals, move a couple chicken tractors, because I did move the other one. Let me show you the other chicken tractor real quick and what it's been doing. Okay, this is the other chicken tractor. You can tell it's morning, morning sun is out. And in, a, in another two days, they're gonna be in this patch and they get to enjoy all this stuff here, which is grass growing from the hay that has been scattered. But just to give you an idea, no chicken tractor. And over here, chicken tractor. They literally just take things down to the ground and if it's shallow rooted, they dig it up. So, and you can tell, you can just follow their path if I hadn't told you where they were, but I told you what to look for, you would know to follow this path right here. And you see over here, no chicken tractor. 
It's been a while since they were over there, but look at this. This is my orchard and it is really being maintained by my chickens. They were never back there. That's going to be a goat pen. So we're letting that grow up. Look at it peeking out the side. Good morning, pilot. My boys. Yeah, amazing. This is my rain shelter for the guineas. Yes, my guineas are a little spoiled. They like to curl up with the chickens when it's raining. I got to move this forward because I just moved my chickens forward. All this damage to the tarp, blame it on the Three Stooges. They get up here and they just tear into it. I don't know why, but they do. So you can see the, the chickens get some sun and they're quite happy in there. Look at that. Look how big Frosty is, guys. You gotta remember, when we got him, he was this big. He was just a teeny tiny little chick, and look how big he is. You get much taller, I'm gonna have to build a taller chicken tractor. Yes, look at you. He's very much the rooster in this coop. My other rooster's right there. Two hens and two roosters, not a good thing, guys. I don't recommend that, but they get along. They were chicks together, and they really do get along. I don't think that rooster gets to mate. It's Frosty is the boss in here. As long as that rooster doesn't challenge him, they get along fine. Oh, I'm a little sore. I'm tired. And the weird thing this morning, my blood pressure was really low. I got up and I had a dizzy spell and I had a dizzy spell last night after we got home and I settled into my chair. And that's not normal for me. So I checked my blood pressure. It was 114 over 78. So I did not take my medication this morning because that could have really made me pass out. So look at this. I'm so excited. Figs, guys. Look at those figs. Keep in mind, this has only been in the ground one year. One year. But because I bought good established plants, that's why I got fruit this year. This has been in the ground, I believe, one year as well. But you see the size of the tree. I didn't buy a little tiny tree. I bought a tall tree. I paid a little more for it, but the results are speaking for themselves. I got fruit set. So, and I got a ton of fruit set. All these little things are fruit. Look at that. And they're all over this tree. Look down here. Over there, there's several underneath there. And there's probably another big one or two as well. I just haven't found it, because there should be. Oh well. All right guys, just wanted to bring you how happy and excited I am with that chicken tractor. I highly recommend if you want a chicken tractor but you have physical limitations to try that build. You can build it smaller for less chickens. You can build it bigger for more chickens. So the sky's the limit, guys. Those boards, I think, were uh, six-foot boards. I'd have to check with Tim, but they did come in eight-foot boards. And that was uh, fence replacement, the slats to replace your fence, broken ones. And that's what we used as the frame, and that's why it's so lightweight. Highly recommend that chicken tracker. tractor. Huh. I got to tie up tomatoes. I got to show you this. I should probably do another video, but guys, I'm busy taking care of Jim right now and all these animals. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm going to still try and put out some videos. You think we'll be knee high by July? Look at this. I think so, guys. I think so. All those tomatoes that were here and along this fence here are now over here. Let me show you. I have to still tie them up, but I pulled them out here because they will get sun earlier in the morning and till later in the afternoon, so they're gonna get a lot more sun. So I think we're doing good with tomatoes. We got two nice rows. We got flower sets already, and I think we'll see tomatoes here in a few days. I just gotta get in here. See, this one's down. Oh. We've had so much rain, they're growing so fast that they're, they're heavy and awkward. They can't get out of their own way, guys. Seriously. There. That'll hold it up at least till I get out here. That's my next project. 
First is always the animals. Second is anything else that's on the list. And I'm keeping my list very small right now because I have to be able to keep going to make sure Jim has ice on his knee, he has water, food, and anything else he needs. He can be up and around a little bit, but not all day long. So I'm trying to take care of him like he took care of me. Guys, what goes around comes around. If they love you like that, man, you gotta love them back. Some more tomatoes. I just set them along this fence line for now. Look at this, guys. That's a banana tree. Yay! And they're all coming in. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. It's actually three right there. Those That little clump there is three. There's one here at my foot. The only side we don't have any is around here. And basically what I did is I planted pump, not pumpkin, watermelon seeds all the way around this side. And in between right here, I don't think, I, no, I didn't go over to that one. But all along here is watermelon seeds. If they take off, yay, they'll have a continuous supply of water. And they have all this room to, to grow. So that's a win if they grow. <laughs> it's a big if. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed day.